Hey everyone, uh, super excited to be here at the sixth annual Biohacking Conference. And I'm sitting here with the man, the myth, the legend, the gentleman who probably doesn't even need an introduction, none other than Dave Asprey. So Dave, thank you for being here. Um, I'm the CEO of the Biz Famous Media Group, contributor to entrepreneur.com. And I would love to chat more about this. All right. Game changers, right? So what inspired, I mean, obviously you've had a tremendous amount of success being a two-time best-selling author. What's the motivation? What's the initiative behind another book? The best way that I know to learn something is either to teach a class on it or to write a book about it. And I've interviewed on Bulletproof Radio uh, almost 500 people who've done game-changing things. Nobel Prize winners, Navy SEALs, uh, sometimes successful entrepreneurs, people who are leaders in their fields. And I asked every one of them at the end of the interview, tell me your three most important pieces of advice for people who want to perform better as a human being. And the reason I did that is I wanted to know not what does one person do, but what does everyone agree on? Because this idea of following one guru right. is not necessarily a good idea because you're probably not like them. But if everyone agrees on this, maybe you should prioritize that and then you should find the technique that's going to actually help you achieve that goal. So most of us don't have the right goals and we don't have the right techniques. Game Changers was a statistical analysis of this so I could also have the benefit of learning from all these just amazing people, of you know, fathers of new fields of medicine, people like that. Like, hey, what made you tick? So that I can use some of that for myself and I wanted to share it with the same mindset I had in my other books. If someone had only told me this when I was 16 or 20, it would have radically changed my life. And that's what Game Changers is there for. So you're saying that if people read this book, they're gonna get insights from 500 of the world's most preeminent experts about biohacking human performance, and they'll be able to apply the specific things that can help them in their lives? There are 46 laws in here, and no one's gonna follow 46 laws, but what you're going to do is you're gonna read this book, and you're gonna learn that all the people who kick the most ass, well, they do three things. They do things to be smarter, they do things to be faster, and most importantly, they do things to be happier. And because they do those things, they become successful. None of them, out of all these interviews, ever once on that list of three things said money, fame, or power. It was a byproduct of having joy in what they did. It was a byproduct in the way they managed their energy, the way they managed their community, the way they managed their relationships. And there are definitely biohacks. There's new sleep hacks. There's conversations about nootropics. There's conversations about smart drugs. There's even conversations about the impact of sex on how you perform in the rest of your life. And it turns out it's different for men and women. So I talked to the experts, gathered the data, and I got to have the fun of writing the book. But it was thousands and thousands and thousands of hours to do this. I don't have to write books for a living. I write books for the joy and for the giving of doing it. I'm, I'm CEO of a venture-backed company with $68 million of funding. I'm a father, I have a neuroscience institute, <laughs> we have upgrade labs, uh, and uh, I probably miss on the podcast, right, Bulletproof Radio. So I'm super busy, but I don't know how I could not write this book because this is really precious knowledge. It is also my highest reviewed book of any book I've ever written. Oh wow, Fantastic. Almost entirely five star reviews. So a lot of entrepreneurs are probably wondering like, how can they perform better, right? Yeah. So with 46 laws, like, is there three things that you might offer an entrepreneur tip wise that okay. they can be a higher performer, and then the correlate would, and then we'll go to one, one last question. The number one, like the first law in the book, is use the power of no. Most entrepreneurs suck at saying no, and I say this because I've had to deal with this myself. Right. We want to help. Right. We started a company to help, to solve a problem that needed solving. So we say yes, and the ones who succeed, the ones who are able to scale their companies, and this knowledge has helped me scale Bulletproof, is you learn to be able to say no and you learn to be able to delegate. Most entrepreneurs get stuck at sub-million dollars because they have to know everything, because they have control issues, and because they say yes to everything. I've had times when my team sat me down and said, Dave, your ideas are all great. Like, That's not actually true, but they told me that. <laughs> uh, and if, if you keep having us do all of them, it will, it will break. Even the Bulletproof conference here, Bulletproof put on the conference for the first five years. And my team came to me and they said, Dave, we're working really hard on getting these products out to you know, 20,000 stores and we're all gonna have to stop working for two months to put on the conference. I said, that's great, because we just spun out Upgrade Labs, which is separately funded and it's the experience of biohacking of being bulletproof. So let's put the conference here and have our Upgrade Labs team support it. And we've had one of our, probably our best conference yet so far. But this became my team saying, Dave, we need to say no to this and finding another way. 
it's that saying no that, that really matters. Awesome. So if an entrepreneur wants to grow their business, learn to say no. So definitely excited to have you here, Dave. It's been an honor and a privilege. I wish we could have more time. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add as we wrap up today? Read Game Changers and just find three laws. There's a little workbook at each of them, some questions you can answer. And if you do this, I know because this isn't my first company, this will change how you run your company. It'll change how you run your biology, which will itself change how you run your company. There's, there's way more energy and way less struggle than you probably have now as an entrepreneur. So go own it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you, and hopefully you implement this into your business, and we look forward to seeing you on our next episode. Thanks so much. Biz Famous.